Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? We are on Telsey, a level 85 wizard. I've never done the wizard uh, epic 1.0. I haven't done anything wizard. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start that. The first thing I'm going to do is the um, part. That's kind of a long part. Maybe I could just like go to uh, catch keep and see if Finningal Arc Finny is up. I pronounce that. I could also go to Carnos Castle and see if Veneral that Sathir is up. I could do one of the two. I'm not sure which one I want to do. So uh, because I was going to go to Plane of Fear, but there's like this whole long quest in the beginning part, and I don't think you want to see any of that. And I wasn't really ready for it. Um, alternatively, we can also do the uh, Enchanter 1.0 Epic. Um, because we did get, you know, the nice, there's a lot though, there's a whole lot. Um, yeah, we did get the thing from Plane of Hate the other night, which was great. Thank you again to uh, Toonie, helped out with that. We go down to Chardock and kill Prince Sherlock Dizak. I think that'll be the thing we do tonight. Let's just go down there. Uh, we'll need a picklock to open his door. Well, shit. I can't do that. Never mind. Um, we can go to Neriak Third Gate and kill Inner and kill Venera Tomb. That seems hard, right? Like you gotta go all the way in Neriak where there's a whole bunch of dark elves like ready to whoop your ass at all times. That seems rough, doesn't it? Um, all right. We do have to go to South Rove and kill Kazel, so we can go real quick and see if Kazel's up. And yeah, we can do that right away. So let's see, transport, Antonica. Um, I think this is the one for South Row, right? That's North Row. So we need the the other one. Uh, do I even have it? Well, I guess, yeah, I guess I don't have it. Jeez, I thought there was one for South Row, but maybe that's only for Druids. So we'll go real quick to South Row, and then I might might level. I don't know where to go to level for like you know. I guess plane of plane of fire might be pretty nice. Um, I could even look that up while we're porting. All seven, all seventy five. Well, I want to get to like sixty two seventy five, right? Dragon Scale Hills. Yeah, I might go check that out. It's a very easy one. Uh, so we gotta go South Row. So yeah, we're heading to South Row to see if Castle's up so we can get a spoon for Kitiaria, who's just running behind me real quick. Let's see if we get lucky. And then, like, what other things do I have to do? Get, like, a little ground spawn. Go to Dalnir. Ugh, this, this all seems shitty. Do I really want this epic 1.0? I mean, I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna want it for the cosmetics, right? I really don't care much about it per se. Um, it is, it's a really cool looking item, and I have the achievement. It's always cool to do an epic. Yeah, you know, I'm jealous because um, Hissen, good buddy Pokin, got his and um, Tooney. I got hers, so I don't want to be the odd one out that doesn't have theirs. It's never a good thing, right? To be that that one person that didn't, you know, complete. Like, what are you, what are you thinking? Are you think you're gonna you're gonna make it? You're not. Go 
Fools knows what's up. Dry bones is not. I think he's going to be towards the south here. If he's up. Oh, they did change the orcs. Some of them at least, right? Flame Forger. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so he'd probably be... There's like a whole bunch of sand giants over on the side here, I think. Um, yeah, sand giants. So let's see if he's there. And we got Telsey with us because it's super easy to get around. Uh, Telsey, that's a sand giant elite. Another one. That's another one. There's a lot of them, but no castle. Let's start killing them. We dropped decent money, so like, why not? Nice way to make cash. Not a lot of cash, but hey, I mean, it's pretty good. Is anyone else in the zone? That's a negative. Over 66, I thought we were 65. So I think we go to Plant of Fire. That's around there for a while. castle yeah, he does roam so we'll walk down this way and see if he's up I don't have you know Harry Potter or anything like that um, EQ show EQ or anything hey there he is he was there the whole time and he summons what a guy There it is. That was easy. So I have the spoon. Okay. Um, what next? There's Plain of Sky. I, I do have to go there, but I don't feel like doing that at the moment. So, hmm. Let's see. Oh, I gotta. F oh no, I have to give them something. Dull sapphire, never mind. That's gonna be a long time. So um, I'm looking at one of the steps. It's go to Skyfire Mountains and find Felia Goldwing. Her placeholder can be the name is his own. She's a rare spawn. Uh, you have to charm the mob, then give her dull sapphire to get an enchanted sapphire. But we're not there. I think it's pretty cool, though. Um, all right, we go to Field of Bone and kill the Tangren. Uh, loot the Sands of Mystics. So we can go there in a minute. Uh, we do need to go down the hole. Uh, kill the Ghost of Kendall. Let's just do that. Let's go down the hole. Uh, so let's go to Tox. I mean, did Castle leave anything else? Ooh, a rip page. We don't care about that. All right, so we're going to go down to the hole um, and get a spawn down there. No, not get a spawn, kill something down there. Um, oh, wait. Oh, LDL. Oh, okay. Legends. Uh, Lost in the North. So, and then in the hole, we'll find him. Uh, we have to give him also. Well, maybe we'll go there because there's actually like a big turn in there. Yeah, I'm going to not go there because there's a big turn in. Where I will go is back to um, the plains. And we'll go to plane of knowledge. 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna go plane of fire. Oh, plane of oh, fire. And since we'll be in plane of fire, that really won't work that much. But you have special levitate. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll do plane of fire, get up to maybe level 70 or so. Um, the goal being getting to level 75, so I could do heroic adventures. That'd be nice. But I am happy to get uh, that I did get that um, spoon. That was something. We have like permanent levitate. Oh yeah, we do. Nice. Okay, I didn't need levitate. Apparently, um, shamans get uh, permanent levitate. Do I get a permanent levitate? What's it called? Group perfected levitation. Now I only have invisibility and invisibility to undead and Veil of Alaris, which I think we've been through. Not me personally, but. Twin cast. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to try to go to uh, tables. Oh, no, C1, Castle 1. That's where we want to be. Um, should be pretty easy to get there. I have to tilt them up so they don't sink. Plant of fires are over here. on the globe there it goes okay good I was worried for a second I was like am I not gonna be able to get in but yeah I can now um we're gonna go like right here that's the area of the castle one they call C1 um, there's some nice nice uh, stuff there lots of mobs and they're pretty densely packed so what what you have to do to get there easily is, oh, they're falling, yeah, they're falling. Um, you need to look up. You need to look up really high um, because you can't go down at all um, when we levitate. So if, you're, if your camera's pan down, then you typically start sinking and you need to be as high as you can. I'll show you if you haven't done it before. I'm sure like everyone's done this before. And you're probably like, yeah, motherfucker, we know what you're talking about. Shut up. <laughs> but, hey, you never know. There could be somebody brand new. Maybe they only play P99. They've ever experienced Planes of Power. So, yeah, give me a break. Um, so here we are. It's like right there. So we just go across. And then we get to where we want to be. Now, of course... Um, Kitiaria had problems. <laughs> of course they did. See them? Yeah, they had problems. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down this way. Yeah, you motherfucker. Um, and now we're going to pan down. So, you know, they're always moving downwards. And we're going to go down the stairs. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. And then we're going to unsuspend my tank boy. Um, he's going to be... Maintain. Now, I think the fabled, uh, fabled general Param or Faram or whatever his name is up. I don't want to be messing with him. Okay. 
So we're going to unsuspend here. All right. So this is where we're going to be. We're going to be here. I'm going to set Telsey to uh, puller. Also set them to main assist. Um, now at some point, what I'll start doing, these are green to me. We'll see what they are to, uh, to Telsey. They're blue. Not exciting, but it's okay. Now, I don't want to be using fire, obviously, with these. Fire's not going to do a whole lot for us. But what I could do with these, is I can start charming them. All right. And I could definitely start doing that. Do I want to? Do I want to bother with it? All right. So uh, the the experience is not great. So maybe they nerfed it. So Telsey just got, I'm sorry, Telsey, you saw about 0.003%. Um, Katiaria got 0.6%. I'm really looking for like the 1% range. That's what I'd like to see. So... You know, I, th I think probably what happened here is is they nerfed the zone because everyone was, was grouping here. And that's okay. That just means we have to figure something else out. Um, so again, I'm 66. Uh, we did talk about going to Dragon Skull Hills, so I think that's what we're going to try out next. Let's see what kind of EXP we get there. It's nice having a wizard. We get to make these decisions on the fly. So I came here, um, yeah, it sucks. Do you think they actually nerfed it? Because it was a terrible experience. I mean, I only killed one mob, but it's really bad. Okay. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, grouped with an 85. That, that could be it. All right. Let's see here. Um, there's the Minotaurs. Let's go kill some Minotaurs. We like killing Minotaurs, don't we? Oh, it'd be nice if I was actually following. Son of a bitch. Let's give this a shot. Oh yeah, Toonie, I forgot you were in there trying to do some headshot shenanigans. Alright, what level are these things? 68. Well, at least it's going to be like even con. Or even like, you know, yellow. For Kidiaria. 70, nice. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Let's see. Let's go down, down, down. That's better. That's one percent a kill. Seems like they had a lot of hit points. 
No, I need to pay attention to. Hang on. I think this like gives me. No, it's just. Where do I see? Do this. Can I? Oh, probably can't because it's too high a level. Yeah, if it is, never mind. Uh, if you want to, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. Um, I'll just kind of mess around a little bit. Let me see. I think there's gotta be somewhere better. I'm just trying out places. Because this doesn't seem like a wonderful place. A lot of that's a lot of minotaurs. come pick you up we'll go somewhere else I don't know where that somewhere else is just yet but maybe we'll go somewhere else I'll join discord just a second What I needed to do was take my um, my layout for Kitiaria. That's I think I don't think I deleted all my EverQuest folder. If I did that, I wouldn't be so mad at myself. But um, from my my laptop to my my desktop, that way I have everything set up the way I had it when I was. Uh, when get, when uh, Telsey was my main. Let's see. I can do that later, though. Yeah, I should. All right. Uh, coming back to Plano Knowledge. I need to buy spells at some point, but I'll do that off stream. Oh, is that an Ego's Guild? Oh, 
<laughs> Looks like something the Negro would want. Or a poken. Maybe that'll be a good one for... Uh... Yeah, no, I understand why. Just the name of it. Um, seems like a nice guild to have on Oakwind. We'll see if we like that. I like the name. I was looking. There is the snake zone off of um, Kata. It's like the new Shizzler. It's level 80 stuff. Yeah, Flying Pyramid Zone. I think that, oh, is that the one? Oh, man, is that the one with, yeah, the floating islands? Yikes. I remember that. You have to do it for progression and everything. Yeah, I don't know about that. That sounds pretty bad. Um, where to go? I mean, so it's like almost like trying to pick somewhere to eat. Like you can't make a decision where to go. Yeah, I want an adventure. Hello. Hey. I was just saying that trying to find somewhere to exp is like trying to figure out a place to eat. Can't really figure it out. Uh, flying pyramid zone is very close quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, the buried sea, that's an open zone. Right. Um, what about any of the seeds of destruction zones? Like, uh, not old blood field, I think that's too high, but, um, what is it? Field of, field of scale or, uh, bloody Kithakor? Is that too uh, high level? I don't remember what level those zones are. Well, if you may have watched the one with Yarnax, he ended up dying in field of scale from a level 80 mob, but the mobs are like level 80. Okay, I don't think we're going to achieve your 1% of kill though unless we go to a hot zone. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Skull Hills was 1% of kill. And what level um, are you? 69. Um, yeah, it might be too. There's always like um, Lopian Plains or what else is in? What else is in Lopian Plains? Hills of Shade. Uh, we don't want Blood Moon Keep. No, we do not. Um, Fort Mac. What level is Fort Mac? Is that like uh, 82, 83? Like, I think it goes from high 70s to yeah, 80. We might be able to do that. It's an outdoor zone. Sure. Okay, well, I'll port us there. Maybe. He can port us to Dragon Scale Hills. Mm hmm. Just mimmed it. Oh, let me run over here with Katiaria. Is this one we have to take the cannon? Yes. Nice.
Yeah, I played I played this expansion in, in era. It was rough. I had no idea what I was doing. I had this weird thing that happened with my computer where maybe like once an hour, I would just get disconnected, just randomly get disconnected. Um, and as a tank, that's not a good thing. Yeah. I never did figure out like how it happened. It just, um, I can't remember if like a new patch came out, but then it just immediately stopped. Everything was fine. And that helped me like get groups and everything. It's like no one wanted to group with me because I was that warrior that always disconnected. It'd be very frustrating. What level is the... Um, Oh, the big guy, the big, uh, oh, what's his name? The, the big robot? Oh, Mecha uh, Guardian. Mech Guardian. That, That's that higher. That goes from like 75 to 80. Oh, okay. Two or something. I remember leveling maybe Yarnax in there or something. Oh, I got a buffs. Um, you want to go to like one of the, one of the pits or where's a good spot? Do you want to camp or just, uh, cause usually I just run around. Oh, let's run around then. Okay. If we get a few levels, we could go to Zeka. Okay. That is a hot zone. Oh, nice. All right. Mm, actually, we can oh. just like, I make, like, I'll pull the here for a few pulls and then we can move somewhere else once the mobs dry up. Okay. Mark, oh, you already did it, never mind. Save me! <laughs> yes, that hurt. Dang. Yeah, it's kind of a low level uh, healer. Okay, that's not low level. No. Doesn't mean I have to pay attention. Yeah, and it's not great that Titiari, I'm not doing a whole lot with her. Because um, I can't 
charm these, so I don't know what I'd actually be able to do. Yeah, enchanters can't really do anything except new when the mobs are way above their level. Oh, I think they can slow, but... Yeah, I could try that. This is 1.4% each. So, is it good? so much loot in this zone. I mean like junk loot. A lot of it is just for quests. Mm -hmm. The hot zone, got, or hot zone hog for this zone is really good. It should still drop but It'll be much rarer. I mean, what I'm going to do once the enchanter is like high enough level, I'll start um, putting them on the main computer and Telsey on the the laptop. It'll be easier to play that way. Are we gonna stay here? Um, let me say in the zone, yeah. I don't know if we have to stay in the spot. Is I it a good spot? Lesson. Yeah, is it a good spot to learn a lesson? Uh, yeah, until we need to move a little, but all right. we're not all that far from other mobs. Yeah, we'll go for it. Did you uh, play today? Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, well, I played Stolen Realm. Let's try out the screenshots of the characters. Oh, is that the? Is that what that was? Yes. Cool. And how? Like, uh, oh, go ahead. Turn-based tactical RPG game. Uh, okay. So I heard I was at that uh, faculty conference on Friday, and there is a role-playing game for student learning, where, you, like, when you answer a question, you like level up your characters. And, you know. Okay, what's it called? I think it's like, oh man, I, I put it in my notes. 
I can't remember if it's like Class Quest or something like that. It's a total ripoff of like EverQuest. Oh. Hold on, I'll look it up in a minute here. But like somebody was giving a presentation talking about it and you see all like the nerds on the table like instantly started like writing it down. Yes, it's good EXP. What's uh what's Pokem doing right now, do you know? I didn't know. Thought he no. was gonna play after dinner, but no. then he hasn't said anything, so Oh, I missed your sick. text, sorry. And then there's our clerics, and they do their PS. 10 second stuns on me. Ooh. I was going to give you a better haste. I always forget to. I'll do it when you get back. I think this guy, the specialist, is a enchanter. Because he just casts a spell called Neurosi on me. Hmm. So, so that sounds like an enchanter spell. Let's see if he charms us all. Uh, well, if he mezzes the tank, we're going to be equally as dead, so. Yeah. That's the worst that could happen. I think my AC is much better than what them has, is it? Uh, well, it gives interesting things like extra crit, I think. Mine does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember, start using twin cast. It's just a waste okay. of time to use it. The, the haste above level 60 give interesting things. I think that one is still below level 60, <laughs> isn't it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need to buy stuff. I'll take all the clockwork grease. Okay, here, let me just make you main loader, because I don't care about any of this stuff. There you go. I mean, I can put it on, if you give it back to me, I can just put it all on auto roll and you can click what you need if it's easier for you. This is fine. Okay. Kind of bit by bit.
don't think I ever notice that there's like gnomes hiding on the catapults and stuff. Oh, really? That's funny. Yeah, when, when, when I would like swarm kill here on Kara, I would mm -hmm. just run up to the groups and body pull them. I wouldn't actually cast spells on them. Sure, you're getting on Tuni. Uh, two percent. So or less. Okay. Yeah. Gnome springs, those are important. What's those cost? I don't know, I never needed to buy one, but they're used for a lot of tinkered gadgets. No, nope, not for sale. Oh, I got my spoon. Oh, cool. Yeah, he was up and killed him right away. Follow me after this one. Okay. anything spawns right here. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do my wizard epic too. Really oh. the, only, the only thing that I have to do is kill Finny, uh, kill Vindal Sathir, and go to Plane of Fear. Basically. It. I mean, there's more to it, but those are the major things. Don't seem that bad. Hoken and Inigo seemed to think it was really horrible. None of that seems bad. Every time I've killed Vandal Sat here, he's dropped that piece. Be that. I don't think he'd be that hard to kill. It took me like 20 minutes to kill the Fable version on them because he's so resistant to everything. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do the Fable version. If you do an instance, are they regular versions? No, sometimes. Okay.
Uh oh. I don't have evac up. Oh yeah, I do. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Evac us. I'll uh, do twin kicks. Hey, cats. See if anybody says anything in Kith and Ken to me. What kind of AAs did I get? Oh, all kinds of cool stuff. You're getting close to 70. 32% left. Very good. Alright, he'll be res in about two and a half minutes. Okay, you tank. Okay. Wonderful. Somebody got a raise for thinking up of that one. Like, hey, Bob, let's call the achievement amazing. Good job, Bob. Good job. Well, it got me, so. It's about ready to uh, respawn the tank.
Let's put uh, five points in improved melee defense. So maybe he has more AC. Murky will is. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I don't want to pull the Uses. I think it's like a trap from what I remember. I think they. It like breaks apart into smaller and smaller mobs. I oh, hate those. Let's see what spells I have now. I think people like Mangler. Nobody's tuning into the to the stream. It always seems like right when I'm about to end the stream, people start logging in. It'd be like three or four people logging in right at the end. Uh oh. It's like the best time when I'm leaving. It's not a good sign. Maybe that's when people want to watch our request this super late at night. Could be. I got all these, uh... oh, I forgot about this, my improved familiar. Damn it. That's like so good. Gives me like mana regen and increases the damage of my spells and all this stuff. Damn it. I've forgotten how to wizard. Uh oh. Got like stuff like this that I should be using a lot. Do mercs just like not take more damage when they're getting hit in the back, or I don't know, maybe mercs are special that way. not taking many hits right now. Maybe it's because I got the one level. Let me 
look to see what other uh, AAs that um, well, there's another AA that I want to use that one already had um, word of destruction Fourteen percent crit increase, and then the critical damage increased by one hundred fifty percent, and reduces the mana cost of all this kind of stuff. It's a pretty good. A. Let's recast on it. Ten minutes. That's your pet. No, it's just an A. Called. Uh, there's a Spire Arcanium. And then I got Fury of the Gods. I should be using that one a lot. I don't. like twin casts. I don't, I don't use on cooldown, which I should. Well, you're just terrible. I know. How do you live with yourself? Uh, I just let it go. It's probably a good way to look at it. Yeah, just let it go. Two minutes. Let's do a request. Thirty minutes. Stun the crap out of me. Oh, so they did. Really? He's not going to attack it? Not unless your group has egg. I should res it, right? My mark should res you.
Well, at least that happened at the end of the lesson. Yeah. What level was Anigo's character? Do you remember? 60. Okay. We can do stuff. What did he have? A wizard. He also had a wizard? Okay. Well, that's going to be awkward. He might have a character closer. Oh, he has Captain. The warrior. Oh, the warrior. Who's 76. Yeah, I'm the captain. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ah, stupid eggs are saving me. I'm calling stupid is not going to get you any help. It worked. See, they understand being me. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Guess it's another ooze I'm thinking of that are totally annoying and break apart. Hmm. I think of it. There are these really big clockworks over by the trees to the direction is that west and they're just marked as regular mobs but like every 15 seconds they mm -hmm. like spawn two ads and they're basically raid mobs they oh. got insane amounts of health right but they don't say anything about you know take an army to defeat or anything nope that's not nice how rude Save me. Get over there. Your swords are lame and lizards smell like ass. <laughs> I don't know why I picked a lizard. I'm glad I did. It's entertaining. 
hope Flora doesn't watch these videos. Not a chance. Probably doesn't have time. He's got extra baby now. He's got more ACRs to get. I don't know. I think his wife just had a baby. Oh, okay. Plus, I guarantee he has all the odds from the current yeah, sure. expansion. <laughs> all the ones he wants. Next time we talk to him, ask him about the time Polly saved him in uh, case of Discord. I'll try to remember that because I like hearing old pals stories. Nope. Polly saved his ass in case of Discord. Did you eat a death touch because there is no rangers here? Nope. I literally tanked for him while he got rezzed. I'll let him tell the story. We'll see, we'll see what version he gives you. Back when rogues could do stuff like that. I wasn't even that well geared. I think, I don't remember which expansion we were in at the time, but he was looking for the blessed shard from the primals. I don't know what that is. It's a 30 AC log. You're going any slot. Oh, that thing. Yeah, Blessed Shard. It's a good one. Uh, I never got that. Hmm. I had it on Yarnax. Because don't you have to like go into a maze or solve a puzzle or something? Yeah, you have to go through Yixta. Yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> and then you got to kill the Primus. The hardest task possible. Yeah. Going to Dreadspire Keep to get that hog was bad enough. Mm-hmm. How many did you have? Uh, I got all four. I did it. I think it was over like uh, July 4th long weekend. So there's like bonus rares. So I got them oh, decently okay. fast. I di didn't see the name that dropped the other AC odds in that zone. Because he is dumb. Oh, I've gotten that one too. I think I got all of those. I know I got the ones from the uh, werewolf down by Vool. And then I'm pretty sure I got the other ones. What is it, by Performer? Uh, maybe? maybe not. It's been a long time. I can't remember where any of the bosses are, so... Okay. Just remember... Uh... Like, the one from the werewolf, you go down that long... Spiraling... Ramp. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the werewolf. Nothing sees and vis until the very last two mobs. Yeah, there's two, two orcs down there, you whoop your ass. I always thought that was especially egregious. Like, why? Yeah, it's not nice. Nothing on the other side of the door sees and vis, so why did the orcs... That's their job. That's why they're there. They didn't see through Shadow Stealth, so didn't bother Polly. 
Oh, got another ding. Oh, cool, cat. What was it now? 68. Jeez, catching me. For sure. I need haste, please. Oh, okay. You want my wonderful haste? Yes. We could um, go and get spells and stuff. So I can actually get a good haste. And probably my level 86 spells. Did you already think 70? Yeah, I think 70. So 31 percent. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Um, we can go to Seika then. Um, hopefully your Merc will be able to cut yeah, it. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, but I need to go back to Plane of Knowledge, so. Yeah. Do you want to stay here uh, or do you want to go back to? Uh, I'm standing under you for very specific reason. Okay. Then she'll go wait by the catapult. Okay. So yeah, I'll try to get, let's see, probably haste and clarity and maybe slow. you something that's somewhat important. If I could direct your attention over here. Yeah, hang on, let me suspend my marks so I'm not wasting cash. Okay. This guy over here will sell you stuff for overseer tetradacums. And there's some pretty decent stuff on there. What, how much do I have? Let me go look see how much I have. Uh, 11,000, 11,000 of them. So I can't barely buy anything. Well, that's not true, but I can't buy anything that I want. What kind of stuff is good here? Uh, when you get to level 98, Zorb's Caged Hatred is like a really good power source. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's ornaments. Res tokens. You can buy Mackenzie Special Brews if you need anything from that vendor. Mm -hmm. You can buy Marks of Valor. Eh, that's a bad deal. Don't buy any of those. Uh, probably will never come up, but you can also buy fragments of legendary Illyrian history here. What's that? Uh. So, killing Alarans in the Vale of Alaris, mm -hmm. there's a chance that they'll drop this thing. Uh, what is it called? I think the first level is called Stone Tier, and it fits in your range slot or your ammo slot, and you put it in there, and every time you kill an Alaran, it gets experience. And okay. it has, it's like a 20 level evolving item, and at 20 levels, it upgrades into a uh, type 3 aug which has a bunch of stats but i guess it's not super important for a wizard because okay. one of the stats it gives is a uh, defense mod 
and it's the only way you can get a defense mod at that level, so it's pretty important for tanks. Gotcha. And those tablets exist because uh, the highest level of Larens are like level 97 or 98, and you get experience for the item based on what they con to you. Okay. So it's like absurd. Like you need to kill like 20,000 green cons to get a level. So it's disgusting. Yeah, after a while, it, you just need those tablets or you don't advance the item. Yuck. Well, I have new spells. I'm just seeing if they're ones that I'm going to want. Yeah, that's an upgrade. And I got one of the beam spells I showed you. I didn't buy it, though. Um up to 12 enemies it's okay i did see this wild mana barrage looks kind of cool it's like it's, you know it has like a 35 percent chance to cast one thing 37 35 percent chance to cast another or a 30 percent chance chance to cast something like really good so i'll give that a shot do you need money no I think I'm okay. I need backspace or I need <laughs> I got like all these uh I got stuff like this. I made all these things. Unfortunately I can make you bags, but they cost money to expand. I think it's like two point four K. But I can make like twenty slot bags. What do you mean by two two point four k what? Plat. No. Oh. Okay. We we're gonna put this right there. Yeah, I'm freaking out backspace. And then I'll buy. Where is the grounds? House of Thule. Oh, is that a good place to level? I suppose. Never really leveled there. I'll buy the portal. It's the only portal for House of Tools, so... Gotcha. Did I buy that one? Basically, the highest level zone that you can do without progression, but I don't think you need progression anymore. Oh, okay. Just a shame because I love House of Thule and I love doing the progression. Why is it so good? It's my favorite expansion. Oh, okay. It's the first expansion where they made it so you don't need to do raids to get all the lore of the expansion. That's cool. Always nice. All right, let me reach over here with Kitty Aria. I'm on the bottom level of the library. Where should I go? Um, the top level library. Well, oh. no, I'm I'm by the uh, what you call it, enchanter spells right now, enchanter sales. Vendors, let's see, Felicity. Oh, it's a mez up to level 70. Valen's Quickening. Yeah, oh, yeah, I get that. Attack speed, strength, dex, and attack rating. That's a good one. Voice of Quellius. That's good. Uh, regenerate mana more quickly, increasing the wisdom. Yeah, that looks. And uh, I have full inventory. Because. Because it's me. Does your bank fall too? No. I'm like the opposite of Surge. <laughs> I'm like his, uh, his negative. 
Speed of Salak. That's the one I should have bought. Oops. I just wasted 200 plat. I purchased too quickly. Uh, Speed of Salak is probably from GOD. Yeah, it's better. It's okay, I'll get money back. Um, and then Clairvoyance, I think that's, yeah, that's an upgrade. Oh, well. Um, all right, that's good enough for now. Now I just have to replace the spells. And voice of Quell is at least his group. Balan quickening his group as well. There you go. Thank you. How long does this last? Two hours. I love it. Clarity lasts for two hours. Um. All right, we're going back. You ready to go back? Uh, yes. Oh, I need to see, like, what spells I'm going to use. There's wild mana barrage. Hmm. I gotta remember all the spells I just bought. Let's see. We got oh, Tears of Flame. Want that. Oh, my brush. What else did I purchase? That's it. Two things. Dragon skill hills coming up as soon as it refreshes. Oh wow, that's really low mana, this one. 389 base. See what the re refresh rate is on it.
Just think of the first people in the Secrets of Fedor expansion. You know, like just exploring and trying to figure out where to go and then all of a sudden get launched into this zone. Had to have been scary. You should show your viewers the smushed person on the side of the hill. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, you ran by the catapult. And by what? Oh, there's the Zika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was thinking ship. That's where I was going in my mind. Oh, yeah. Me and Pokemon's favorite zone from this expansion. It's not a hot, hot zone, though, because... Yep. So you just go on this thing? Uh, you click it when you don't have Levitate on. No. Oh. Make sure you click the one that's facing west. Tower Spire Zika. Did I click it? Oh, I didn't click it off. Click it off. Wee. Okay. You should probably make sure you have the back up. Where's it going to take us, though? Uh, to right where we're standing. Oh, okay. So we don't want to camp here. No. We can camp a little farther forward, though. Yep. You're fine. Uh, and you can either zone out by jumping off or touching the catapult behind you. Uh, that one? Ju yeah, jumping off doesn't work if you're getting summoned, of course. Right. Oh, hang on. Let me... Scoot up a bit. group in front of us so I don't know what's gonna happen. Are you too low to pacify? Yes. Okay. Oh well, only death. Let's go. Zero nine percent on Katiaria and one point seven. Oh no, wait, other way around. One point seven on Katiaria and point zero nine on uh, Kelsey. Oh, I was gonna say something <laughs> didn't sound right. Something, something a little backwards there.
We should get the mirror case. Yeah, oh well. Good idea. How long does that haste last? Uh, like an hour and 12 minutes, I think. I love it. From my Shadow Knight's point of view, never long enough. Yep. I, I think it's really discriminatory because think at the top and the the clarity lasts like four hours mm -hmm. and haste like lasts an hour and a half it's discriminatory I, I tell you well, at least you have some use for uh, clarity Yarnix and Polly get two shits about it yeah, I blocked Clarity in all of its forms on Polly and Yarnax. I think the only reason it overwrites Skelly form is because it gives mana. I'm not sure the regen is better. Oh. Does that cryomancy thing snare them? Uh, each one has like a different um, ability. Like that's for prevents them from gating. Um, here, this is what it does. Keeps them from gating. I'm doing a couple other things. Oh, that's kind of cool. And like there's one for, it's an AA. There's one for fire and then there's one for magic as well. Wizards get a better snare than the level like 32 one? Yeah, they get an AA. Let me see, it's uh, a total shackles. Oh, okay, okay. It's just, it's like a non resistible one. A 20 point resist modifier. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure they do. It means it. Uh, well, if it's magic, it's, uh, how do I describe this? It, they do their resist check at 20 less than what they actually have. Right. Set him as a uh, main tank. And, uh, no, he'll behave. A little bit better. Maybe.
Good loot, good loot. Nope. I've been here since we made a hot zone, so I'm kind of interested to see what they all get. Drop this. Yeah. Oh yeah, what level can I do Overseer? Uh, it unlocks at 85. Oh, I should be doing that on Telsey. Yeah, I have it. Damn it. Uh, man, I gotta remember how to do this. It's much easier. They added an autofill button. Oh, okay. I like that button. <laughs> so I just push it and I'm done? Yep. It'll put the best... Uh, Agents. Yep, but like what, which, uh, what should I do? Which, uh, uh types? Do you remember? I'm sure you remember. But... Depends on what you want. I want, uh, experience and cash. You Root. can't get cash. Okay, right. XP for me or my Merc? Uh, military will give Merc XP. Mm. Um, and all the rewards are... Pretty much, uh, they scale with the difficulty of the quest. So, like, the color, I think mm, it goes gray. Yeah. Yeah. Rare. Um, and how long it takes to complete. Okay. Um. How come I can't start it? Did you have enough actual agents to fill all the spots? Uh, oh, some. Oh, I sent them out on quest already. I already have five active quests. Oh, I need oh, to collect uh, my rewards. Dear. Yes. <laughs> I'll do that real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'll just do all the. Uh, the tough ones. All right, I'll do this later. I got like 3% XP.
We need to get crits. I have to go find more mobs faster. I, uh, did turn faster. That that was 52k. I think I could. Have, I've done like over 100k in a single hit at my level. I'm curious to see what it would be at 105. Don't watch this. Our good wizard in this. Uh, he doesn't talk in raids and is not a mage, so he doesn't brag about his damage. He just keeps his head down and does his thing? Yes. I like it. I uh, remember our uh, on the pals shoot. And who was our other wizard? We had another wizard. She was a necromancer. I thought she was a wizard at some point. Uh, she yeah. was like, like five necromancers. <laughs> right, in her paladin. Um, oh, who is his name? Might have been Band Aid. He had like a. little gnome wizard that he played. Oh yeah. I don't remember what the wizard was called now. That makes me sad. Something junior, right? I, I don't remember at all. No, we have to ask Poker Nate about that one. There's one that spawned right in front of us. I'll pull it. I got my click stick. You should roll on the high quality steel gears Why? and the titanium gears because they are good cash loop. Oh, okay. Mm, which one is it? Titanium steel? Titanium gears? Okay. They are like a big gear and a small gear and they're sort of silver and then yep. the steel gears. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And I think they're gonna fit in my trade school bag, right? Uh, the steel ones won't, but the titanium ones will. Okay. I got the rare crap in here. I have 523 celestial essences. Stack to a thousand, right? Yeah. I was making uh, oh, the Kaladin Constitution brew, whatever it is. Mm. Ouch. Yep. I got brewing up to 300, though. Did you max the trophy, though? Let's, let's not talk about that. Okay. 
<laughs> I try. Ran out of time. Do you need any of this stuff back? You still need Facebook stuff? Like which one do I still need to level up? Maybe it's tailoring? Yeah, tailoring. Oh yeah, tailoring 162 out of 300. Yeah. Pottery is 300, jewelry is 336, fletching is 300. Um, what else? Brewing is 300, blacksmithing is 232. Baking is 300. So almost. Yeah. Oh, that close. Sadly, in only one and a half expansions, mm -hmm. the trade skill cap goes up to 350. Oh, okay. And you won't like how you level it from 300 to 350. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be a nightmare. Yes. First, you need to spend like 300 AAs to unlock the ability to level it. Right. Uh, and then there's certain recipes which count towards getting you to 350, and your ability to get to 350 is based on how many of those you make for the first time. So, like, how many are in your. Um, uh, like your saved recipes. Wait, wait, wait what? I'm not following. You. So you get, you have to get the 300 AAs. You have to spend those just to get the ability to raise it up to 350, right? Yeah. And what was the second part? Then, uh, certain recipes, usually ones that don't have to do with quests and aren't. Uh, like cultural things right. count towards getting you to 350 and so you okay. have to make like 80% of all the recipes possible for a given trade skill to get it to 350. Oh, because there's such a small narrow range or something? Like you can only use them for so long before they're trivial? No, you just make each one once so that it's in your tool, like when you open your uh, train skill. Oh, you have to make it the contain. first time. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I'm having a hard time explaining this. No, I get it now. So, like, you have to, before it's in your trade skill book, you have to make it manually. Yeah, you have to learn the recipes. I think the recipes you learn from, like, books you can scribe count to you. Okay. That's also how you level up the artisan price. Okay. So every serious trade skiller has already done this and I have made done none of it. I think I need to read about this. Because he's not going to watch this. I only do trade skills, so Lever will be proud of me. Hmm. I actually liked it. Um, I just wish I had more time to, like, you know, farm mats and and uh, or and or plat, you know, to buy set mats. It's a set of the PR backs. You did one. Uh. What are they called? The shop readers? Cut diamond gear. They're like the the blue diamonds of mm. this content. Okay. So they're they're used for one useless tinkering recipe and they're cash loot otherwise.
Oh, I see. Cut diamond gear. Wasn't looking at that screen. I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. today, but I am tired. I understand. I woke up at uh, 7, and I didn't set an alarm. No fun. Yeah, I need to, like, I can buy, like, two more backpacks on uh, Telsey. And I can buy seven more backpacks on Kitiaria. I just make handmade backpacks for myself. True. Or I can make you the big ones. No. Yeah, I, I know when when I said that because it cost money, you weren't gonna ever use them. <laughs> nope. I'll go and farm some high quality bear pelts from uh, what's the place name? Silver Silver Pine Forest. The poachers over there. Jagged Pine Forest. Jagged Pine Forest. There you go. Thank you. Silver Pine Forest is World of Warcraft. It sure is. <laughs> I was like, it sounds familiar though, doesn't it? Yeah. Mental vivisection necromancy. Cool. Um, and then I can. S oh, I'm going to blow up the next mob. It's going to be like dead really quick. Okay, it sprayed acid on me. What? Prepare to die. So much for its hit points. It's not dying. Like I wanted to. It resisted. Alright. Yeah, some of these are level 83. Cool. Uh, let's see how quickly this dies. Not quick at all. I'm trying to see like which spells were good. I mean which AAs. That one's good. Wizards get an aura. Yeah, really do. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, enchanters do though. And I should be using it because I have it. Yes. It's actually a very nice one. That's how you make me get XP aura. Is it the XP aura? Fuck, why am I... <laughs> oh, Sorry. no. The lower level one's just mana regen. Oh. 78. There's... Oh, uh, okay. There's a couple auras. Actually, you might... At 68 and 70, I think they open it up. Like, so enchanters have the most auras. They get, there's the XP aura, the mana regen. There's one that makes it so charm is less likely to break on mobs around them. I think there's okay. one that reduces magic resist in the aura effect. And that there's others I'm forgetting. Only them and clerics get an AA that lets them use more than one aura at a time. Ooh. Yeah, when you get up around AD will pop a Crystallis and get 
rank three experience aura. I'm beginning to remember how to wizard. Okay, Gandalf. Did you watch that? That was my name. Oh yeah, yeah, I watched the the Ring of Power. Yeah. Everybody thought it was Sauron. But no, it was not. I didn't like how that all went down, but it was it was an okay an okay series. I didn't hate it, let's just say. Yeah, I wasn't upset until like the last episode. And then now I can't remember why. Yeah, I mean... My favorite character was the Black Elf. Hmm. Not the... Uh, not the figurative... Or not the black as in skin color. The, no. the evil okay. elf. The evil elf. I think that's what they're called in the lore sometimes, black elves. Oh, I thought you meant the black guy. <laughs> like the, the physically. He's pretty skin. good too. Yeah. I like him. Um, no, like the the elf that led all the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here he won't be in the next season because he quit. No. People say it's because um, he's afraid being in the show was going to hurt his career because all the Lord of the Rings fans would be mad at him. No, no, it's not that bad. Yeah, they do get pretty, uh, pretty pissy. Ooh, I can use that uh, flame blade thing, maybe. No, I already have it. Never mind. I already have that. Something else I should be using. Uh, I think that's probably not worth it unless oh, you're like having a hard time. Or they're really resistant. Well, it would have been like... good against like Maestro the Rancor and stuff. Oh, yeah. be able to like bob and weave spells on the other computer has it lags no it's just too much to pay attention to but i think it's like my my laptop is on my left it's in my periphery like i can see a little bit over there but i can't hear anything and so i like i don't have gina triggers or anything but I did before with like gift of mana and make a little sound, you know. Um, I might be able to figure something out. Could do what I do. What's that? I can talk about that off stream. I'm not gonna <laughs> talk about it and incriminate myself. I'm not doing that because I'm gonna be streaming. I can't do that. Oh. No, I'll figure it out. I think the channel will be better off as the main computer. Just get um, tips from Laronk. He boxes the good old fashioned way and he's really good at it. Yeah, but he has a bard, shadow knight, shaman, right? Yes. I but that would be easy. The yeah. The fundamentals are the same. Well, 
so in Channer, like, I won't be targeting players. I'll be like mezzing mobs and stuff, right? That'd be like my number one thing that I would do to like mez uh, and charm and, and attack with the charm pet. Whereas, like, when I had slow Coco, my only job was to slow and to heal the Yarnex. It was pretty easy. I didn't do any dots in the way. Uh, I think I'm making it tougher than it needs to be. It'll be pretty easy. Because I can only have like maybe four or five spells total. And this won't be as good as that would be if I was on the main computer. But I'll still be decent. Can macro most of it. Mm -hmm. Assist the tank. Cast a spell or two spells. Well, like I said, it's almost like a playing a wizard at this level is like a little mini game. If you get procs and you have to change your spells based on those procs to do like maximum damage, but you don't have to. You can just cast one spell all day long if you wanted to. What are those things called? Cut diamond. Cut, cut diamond gear, yeah. None for sale. As I said, it's basically only cash loot. Oh, that was cash loot. Okay. I thought you said it was like a blue diamond of the. It used to be, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. It sells to it vendors for a lot. used for her. It's used for one tinkering recipe that is meaningless. Why is it meaningless? It has no use at all? Uh, yeah. Like it's, it makes like a component for something and then there's just no reason to make the thing that component is for. I can't remember exactly what it is. Hey, the AUG dropped finally. And it's the same one that drops in Fortress Mac. Lame. Fine. Oh, there it is. Ooh, nice. 300 hit points. Should be 300 mana, damn it. You want it? I mean, it's a good AUG for me. I mean, it'd be a good AUG for uh, Tooney, though, too. Actually, better for Tooney. Can't use it for like 10 levels. That won't take that long. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Not sure, I can get another one. Let's see where I can throw it. There we go. Oh, I've got a level. I am now sixty nine. Congrats. Nice. I think I just killed myself. Yeah. Oh. Because the sweepers do AoE root and the tank work was rooted. Oh. And I pulled something. <laughs> I mean, I could pull aggro. Aggro for you. I'm so good then. Oh, so weak. That 
That's good. My twin cast. It's not a very good one. Is it like a buff that lasts like 36 seconds? It's a uh, spell. And it lasts like one mana. It lasts for, I think, 15 seconds. Oh. But it has a recast time of like seven or eight minutes. I just always forget to use it. Should be using it, you know, obviously we should use it on cooldown. Okay, think of macro. So that it's like, uh, oh, you could do a multi-bind, even better. If you, like, you know, always try to cast it with every spell that you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do like to save it, you know, if you know we're going to like fight something um, or say we have a pool is too big, you know, when you kill a bunch of stuff, I can just burn everything down. Eh, that's what e back is for. Yeah, that's true. You know how I'm about multi binding? Not really. I thought like you mean just like adding a line to all the all the uh, macros. But no, uh, like so, if you have if you cast your spells, say you cast spell gem one, two, and three in that order. Mm -hmm. Um, you bind them all to say your E key, and you just spam E key to oh, do DPS. Okay. And it apparently, well, it works really well for life taps and keeping my bot alive. And it's apparently the secret to doing huge DPS. Hmm. And as an added bonus, it lags out raids and the entire server. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, I don't know God. if you read the, they like did this thing about um, the main causes of lag, like the devs, main causes of lag in EverQuest, and multi binding was the first thing. <laughs> well, they, well, I guess you can't really ban it, but why don't they just disable it? Because uh, modern raids rely on it. Oh, okay. They keep cut everybody's DPS by a huge amount and. The raids are all um, balanced around how people perform on the test server when they're testing them. Right. And they add multi binds on the test server. So, and so they'd have to go back to like through every raid. And I think that's just, yeah. I think with the new engine, uh, they can the new server hardware and stuff, eventually it just won't become a problem. Because I think you have multi-bind and WoW, and they've never mentioned that as being a cause of server lag. Well, I mean, server population is not that high anyway. And most servers, I guess, it may be mischief. I guess we can sell a bunch of this stuff. Permutation peddler. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, 285 plat for the diamond gear. Cool. 70 plat each for the steel. And what was the other one? Did it go? The titanium gears. Find where they landed. Well, those are actually yeah, 62 each. Cool. Great. Now I don't feel bad for you 
having turmeric out, and I only have oh. one. I'll be alright. Doesn't this give me mark experience? Having them out. Like negligible, uh, but. Yeah. Merc XP is. Uh, what would you call that? Top. Top heavy? The higher level you are, the more Merc XP you get, and it. The amount of XP you need for every Merc is always the same, I think. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. this one. Pokin's not coming, by the way, because he says he's still sick and he's a big baby. Aww. A little, a little puss puss. Aww. I hope he watches this and gets really angry I said he, that. He won't make it this far. Guarantee you didn't make it this far. He either fell asleep or turned it off. Intricate titanium gears. Um, what was I was say, oh, I hope he like maybe tomorrow we record a podcast episode. We need to do that soon. That would be cool. I mentioned to my wife on my I take off the twenty fourth, and she looked at me and was like, "Why? What's going on?" And I said, "Uh, expansion release." And her her eyes just like went down. She's like, "What?" She like, I swear to God, if you mistress is having a baby, that would <laughs> probably been easier. No, she wouldn't believe that. One. Um, oh, she was like, "If you take a day off to do that instead of us going on a nice trip somewhere, then I'll start getting the papers ready." Oh, harsh. <laughs> Yeah, we've been, like, you know, she's been wanting a vacation. We went to somewhere, like, north of Los Angeles uh, a couple of months ago, but it was, like, a little weekend trip. And I think she'd like a, a for real, little vacation just to us. North of Los Angeles, but south of... Yeah, like uh, Ventura. Mm -hmm. Like Ventura, uh, south of Santa Barbara. I know where Ventura is and what it is. I don't know why you want to go there. It was nice. We went to Ojai and Oxnard for a little bit. It was alright. Well, I know we'd like to go to Grand Canyon. Neither of us have been there before. Is that in Nevada? Um, parts of it's in Nevada, parts of it in Arizona. Oh, okay. I think the part in Arizona is better, but the part in Nevada is more accessible. Because it's so close. To, well, not so close, but close to Las Vegas. go to Las Vegas you can get the helicopter tour. Yeah, we've been to Las Vegas quite a few times and I keep asking if she wants to go there, but um I don't think so. Yeah, someone in Mass who lives in Las Vegas said not to go on the Grand Canyon helicopter tours. They say why? Uh, because they do a certain number a day and the helicopters are poorly maintained because there's never any time for maintenance. Uh-huh. It's a 
people just die randomly? Uh, I don't know if anyone's died, but I feel like it's just a matter of time. Gotcha. They didn't seem very trustworthy of helicopters in general, if I remember correctly. I'm sort of trusting of helicopters. Yeah, the one thing about helicopters, they can't glide, right? Engine goes out, you're falling. Like, there's no... You know, at least for the plane, you have some wings, and you can kind of try to figure it out. Helicopter? Nope. You're just a rock in the sky at that point. They are never meant for civilian use. That's all I can say. I can agree with that. They, I mean, they have their purposes. Like, um, you know, medevac, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're like, you know, High-level executive, and you're gonna die. Um, yeah, you're dead. It What'd was a do? sweeper. I wasn't paying attention, so I got you dead. The sweeper? Yes. Oh, that reminds me. You're not gonna know about this, but maybe somebody out there watching. What, how long are we into the video? If you watch for two and a half hours and you're still watching, you might be this person. Um, a G.I. Joe episode back in the 80s there was the Viper so they were talking about the Viper and they were like there's going to be this amazing person called the Viper who's going to be coming to Joe, G.I. Joe headquarters soon and going to like you know you know cause a lot of problems and so they kept on you know like trying to figure out who the Viper was and all this stuff do you know who the Viper was? It was the window washer. He was the wiper. <laughs> okay. Showing up to G.I. Joe headquarters with a bucket and a rag or something like that. I'm here to wash the windows. I'm the viper. You're like, you're the what? Yeah, I'm going to try to find that. That is stuck in my head. That was probably um, 35, 40 years ago almost. That's, and, that's like awesome, Lee Dem. And that, that memory is like stuck in my head about the Viper. Not that you'd remember it, that, that they do something like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, G.I. Joe, like no one died. Uh, G.I. Joe uh, Viper. Yeah, Viper is coming. Here it is. Yeah, the Viper is coming. <laughs> it totally is. Oh, I gotta show it on the stream. Um, hang on. Can we can we go back? I wanna. I don't know if I can show it in. Um, can I show it in, in uh, Discord? How can how can we watch it together? I can watch it on your stream. Okay. Okay. Let me let me. Um, give me a second. Cause I'm gonna turn off the sounds and stuff. Just because, uh, you know, there'll be like uh, video, I mean, uh, commercials and whatnot. Okay. I got it all set queued up. Let's see how to get over there. Uh, Chrome. I did know how to do this at one point. Ah, there it is. Uh, you should be able to see it now. There's going to be a little bit of a delay. Um, you might have to, because you're going to hear yourself if you talk, so I guess you can't talk. So sorry about that. All right, here we go. Oh, it's totally muted. Yeah, let me go back. Yep, it's totally muted. Let me shut this stupid thing up. Hang on. There we go. Alright, here we go. And now, this is the Viper. I need their room today. Be ready. So they're preparing for the Viper. 
to the come and destroy them all. They're ready. Uh, yeah, so that was the Viper. Did that work? Could you hear it and everything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was so corny. The little Viper guy. All right. They're like, they were ready to blow him up. I'm, you know, been really funny if they like shot him first. And he was like, no, I'm the window washer. Then he died. That would be great. How the hell did I remember that from almost 40 years ago? I don't know. I don't know. Might be the only one who remembers it. I've never heard of that particular gag, and I feel like people would be talking about it more. It's pretty good. But it was like the whole episode um, it was like leading up to that moment. You know, so it was like a whole episode of that. Like you would call and like, you know, just call and confirm. I'm gonna be there. Be ready for me. That's good. Did T.I. Joe do a lot of that? Not really, no. That was pretty odd. I mean, they did like some lighthearted jokes and stuff, but uh, not to that. You know, not like a whole episode and stupid like that. They always had, I mean, a lot of them had lessons and you know, like life lesson bullshits. And there was always the PSAs at the end. Oh, because knowing is half the battle? Exactly. That's the one. Well, there'd be like one about like, you know, not taking stuff from strangers. There's one about like, um, you know, setting a ex good example for your younger sibling. And it's like all those kind of things. There was one, they're playing baseball, right? And the one kid throws the ball and misses it, you know, and it hits a window. And there's like a little boy like kind of in the area. And they're like, oh man, mom's going to kill me. Let's just say Billy did it. Like, what? And then, like, the G.I. Joe comes out of nowhere. That's not very fair to Billy now, is it? And it gets to be a whole lesson. Okay, yeah, I'll tell that mom I did it. You know, no. Billy did that shit. And then there's another version of those where they're dubbed over and they're replaced with inappropriate things. Oh, right. I've seen those ones. Yeah, they're good. Who wants a body massage? They're like, what? Body massage? What level am I? Still 16. Okay. Because I oh, died. Yep. Thank you. I should probably just go ahead and refresh it on the tank.
I think there was someone else in here when I played that, and they left. They, they were not a G.I. Joe fan. You didn't want them, want them as a viewer anyway. Well, maybe I did, maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be a downer. Yeah, somebody commented on my, uh, I don't know if you saw one of my videos, saying, didn't you think he's trying? It's like, you don't know me that well. I'm not trying at all. That's the whole point. Uh, Oh yeah, you told me, and I said that was probably just a bot because it's totally a generic. So it's probably a bot commenting that on every video gaming. Because mm, he came back and he started talking to me. We went back and oh, forth a little bit. Never mind then. And I had a couple specifics about like. You know, I should have went back to the tutorial level five after I got my origin or whatever. Um, dude, it's level five. There's no, there's not a lot of min-maxing at level five. And he was like, you know, not even sure he knows what he's doing. And I was like, that's true. I don't. It's been too long. Oh, okay, well, I've never heard that thing about the tutorial, so if that person is watching now, you don't know shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, just here to have fun. No, I, I, I'm not. You're not here to have that fun? One, that one for? viewer, your shit. Stop watching this. It's not for you. There we go. Setting a good example for all the other viewers. Oh, the other three people that have watched. Thank you. Oh, I don't think anyone watches this far into a stream. I feel like I should break them up, but that will require editing. And I, I could do editing. There's like open source editing. But, well, like um, I, I did tell you to do that in the beginning. I know you did. But if I did that, like, in release like one a day, I would it'd be so far back, right? It would never be like live content. You could release two a day. Like how long would the chunks be? Like thirty minutes each? Uh forty five. No. Twenty to thirty? Oh my god. Like this one here? We're already two hours and 39 minutes. So that's a lot of episodes right there. Yeah, but we're not dating them. We haven't said any, we haven't talked about current events or anything. Or... But I also haven't done like intros and outros for all the movies and out of nowhere. It'd be very abrupt. So it means like, I've, I've seen people do that. There was this guy that played uh, Europe, Europa Universal. Uh, what's it called? Europa Universal Four. Yeah. EU Four. There you go. And every thirty minutes, he would do outros and intros while he was on stream. And I was like, ah, I don't want to get into that. Just a second, you TFK real quick. Exactly. That's how you do it.
Okay, so we're 69 on the Enchanter. 86 on the Wizard. Getting close, getting close. Man, if I start doing all these overseers, that means I'm gonna have to like log in every morning, get them started, come back from work, log in, do new ones. But I mean, it's free experience, I suppose. Fight it there because I didn't set myself as poor. It's not a bitch. to go but oh check me back yeah i'm gonna have to wrap it up oh so, okay yep um let's see thank you i was gonna ask if you could do that and you did thank you but then i have to figure out like how i'm gonna move this stuff around so i can actually get it yeah there we go Well, this was this was good. Um, yes. You think this is a good spot for us to camp? If we were to play tomorrow, maybe I don't know. I can't promise I will play tomorrow, but yeah, that might be a better place now that we're a little higher level. But Kitiar is really not contributing uh, to the group other than the healer getting levels. But this was very chill. Yeah. Thank you for the power level. No, thank you. We have uh, Vim here providing support. And I still haven't changed my models, so she has very thin legs. If you could take a look at those, um, looks really strange. <laughs> it is the ugliest model of all time. Yep. It's pretty bad. And then me just like standing inside of my Robobore, like a weirdo. You're T posing on it to establish dominance. That's right. Then I have my wigwam um, staff here. My scroll, my ruby scroll staff with weird blood on one side and demonic symbols on the other. The right. scroll's so powerful and dangerous, you need to hold it at arm's length. That's right. Pointing at things. Pointing at you. <laughs> okay, enough with that. <laughs> all right, thanks for hanging out, Vim. Um, thank you all for watching. Vim, are you going to say thank you for the rest of the people and not that one person, though? Yeah, thank you, everyone else. There you go. All right, have a great night, everybody. Uh, be careful of the Viper. You might come and wash your windows um, later. <laughs>